Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Ezekiel chapter 16. This is the Amplified Version. God's Grace to Unfaithful Jerusalem. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, make Jerusalem understand the heinous and vile nature of her repulsive, idolatrous acts, and say, Thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, all of Israel, your spiritual origin and your birth are from the land of the Canaanite. Your spiritual father was an Amorite, and your spiritual mother a Hittite. And as for your birth, on the day you were born, your navel cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water for cleansing, nor were you rubbed with salt or even wrapped in clothes. No eye looked with pity on you to do any of these things for you, to have compassion on you. But you were thrown out in the open field, for you were loathed on the day that you were born. When I passed by you and saw you squirming in your newborn blood, I said to you, while you were there in your blood, live. Yes, I said to you, while you were there in your blood, live. I made you, Israel, multiply like plants which grow in the field, and you grew up and became tall, and you reached the age for wearing fine jewelry. Your breasts were formed and your hair had grown, yet you were naked and bare. Then I passed by you again and looked on you. Behold, you were maturing and at that time for love, and I spread my skirt over you and covered your nakedness. Yes, I swore an oath to you and entered into a covenant with you, says the Lord God, and you became mine. Then I washed you with water. Yes, I thoroughly washed away from you the clinging blood and anointed you with oil. I also clothed you with embroidered cloth and put sandals of purpose skin on your feet. And I wrapped you with fine linen and covered you with silk. I adorned you with ornaments, and I put bracelets on your wrist and a necklace around your neck. I also put a ring in your nostril and earrings in your ears and a beautiful crown on your head. Thus, you were adorned with gold and silver, and your dress was made of fine linen and silk with embroidered cloth. You ate fine flour and honey and oil, so you were extremely beautiful and you advanced and prospered into royalty. Then your fame went out among the nations on account of your beauty, for it was perfect because of my majesty and splendor, which I bestowed on you, says the Lord God. But you trusted in and relied on your beauty, and prostituted yourself in idolatry and its debauched rituals because of your fame, and you poured out your immoralities on every willing passerby, and your beauty was his, as you worshipped the idols of the Gentile nations. You took some of your clothes and made for yourself decorated high places and shrines of various colors and prostituted yourself on them, things which should never have come about and taken place. You also took your beautiful jewels and beautiful vessels, made of my gold and my silver, which I had given you, and made for yourself images of men, so that you could prostitute yourself with them. And you took your embroidered clothing and covered them, and offered my oil and my incense before them. Also my bread, which I gave you, made from the fine flour and oil and honey with which I fed you. You even offered it before idols, no better than cow dung, as a sweet and soothing aroma. So it happened, says the Lord God. Moreover, you took your sons and your daughters whom you had borne to me, and you destroyed them as sacrifices to your man-made gods. Were, you gro were your gross immoralities so small a matter? You slaughtered my children and offered them up to worthless idols, forcing them to pass through the hideousness of the fire. And in all your repulsive acts and prostitutions, idolatrous immoralities, you did not pause to remember the days of your youth when you were naked and bare, squirming in your newborn blood. Then it came about after all your wickedness. Woe, 
Woe to you, says the Lord God, that you built yourself an altar for prostitution and made yourself a high place for ritual prostitution in every square of Jerusalem. At the beginning of every street, you built your high place and made your beauty repulsive, and you offered your body to ever pass passerby and multiplied your obscene immorality. You also prostituted yourself with the Egyptians, your lustful neighbors, by embracing their pagan rituals, and you multiplied your obscene immorality to provoke me to anger. Behold now, listen very carefully. I have stretched out my hand against you, reduced your portion, and handed you over to the desire of those who hate you, the daughters of the Philistines who are ashamed of your infamous behavior. You prostituted yourself with the Assyrians because you were not satisfied. You prostituted yourself with them and still were not satisfied. Moreover, you increased your obscene immorality with the land of tradesmen, Chaldea, Babylonia, and yet even with this, you were not satisfied. How weakened by longing and lust is your heart. Mind, says the Lord God, while you do all these things, the action of of a bold and brazen prostitute. When you built your shrine altar for prostitution at the beginning of every street and made your high place in every public square, you were not like a prostitute because you refused payment. You adulterous wife who welcomes and re receives strangers instead of her husband. Mean Men give gifts to all prostitutes, but you give your gifts to all your lovers bribing the pagan nations to come to you as allies from every direction for your obscene immoralities, and you are different from other unfaithful women in your promiscuity, in that no one follows you to lure you into prostitution, and because you give money and no money is given you, in this way you are different. Therefore, O prostitute Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because your lewdness was poured out and your nakedness uncovered through your obscene immoralities with your lovers, pagan allies, and with all your repulsive idols, and because of the blood of your sons that you gave to them. Therefore, listen, I will gather all your lovers, pagan allies with whom you took pleasure, and all those whom you loved with all those whom you hated. I will even gather them against you from every direction and will expose your nakedness to them, that they may see all your nakedness, making you, Israel, an object of loathing and of mockery, a spectacle among the nations. And I, the Lord God, will judge you like women who commit adultery or shed blood are judged, and I will bring on you the blood of wrath and jealousy. I will also hand you over to your lovers, and they will tear down your shrines, demolish your high places, strip you of your clothing, take away your jewels, and they will leave you naked and bare. They will also incite a crowd against you, and they will stone you and slaughter you with their swords. They will burn down your houses with fire and execute judgments on you in the sight of many women, Gentile nations. Then I will make you cease your prostitution and you will no longer hire your lovers. So I will calm my wrath toward you and my jealousy resulting from being denied what is rightfully and uniquely mine will turn away from you. I will be pacified and no longer angry, because you have not remembered the days of your youth, but have enraged me with all these things. Therefore, I in turn will bring your conduct down on your own head, says the Lord God, so that you will not commit this lewdness on top of all of your other repulsive acts. Behold, everyone who uses proverbs will use this proverb against you, like mother, like daughter. You are the daughter of your mother, who loathed her husband and her children. You are the sister of your sisters, who loathed their husbands and their children. Your spiritual mother was a Hittite, and your spiritual father an Amorite. Now your older sister is Samaria. She with her daughters, outlying cities, who live north of you. And your younger sister is Sodom. She with her daughters, who live south of you. Yet you have not merely walked in their ways 
or behave in accordance with their pagan practices. But as if that were but as if that were too little, you soon acted more corruptly in all your ways than they. As I live, says the Lord God, Sodom, your sister and her daughters, have not done as you and your daughters have done. Behold, this was the sin of your sister Sodom, she and her daughters, outlying cities, had arrogance, abundant food, and careless ease, but she did not help the poor and needy. They were haughty and committed repulsive acts before me. Therefore, I removed them when I saw it. Furthermore, Samaria did not commit half of your sins, but you have greatly increased your repulsive acts more than they. So you have made your wicked sisters, Samaria and Sodom, appear righteous and justified by comparison to all of the disgusting things which you have done. Also bear your disgrace as punishment, having made judgment favorable for your sisters, for you virtually absolved them because of your sins in which you behaved more repulsively than they. They are more in the right than you. Yes, be ashamed and bear your disgrace, for you made your pagan sisters seem righteous. Nevertheless, I will restore them again from their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, outlying cities, the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, and along with them I will restore you from your own captivity in the day of the Lord God, so that you, Judah, will bear your humiliation and disgrace, and be thoroughly ashamed for all the wickedness that you have done to console and comfort them. Your sister Sodom and her daughters in Samaria and her daughters will return to their former state, and you and your daughters will return to your former state. For the name of your sister Sodom was not mentioned by you except as a byword in the day of your pride when David ruled before your own wickedness was uncovered. Now you have become an object of reproach and a byword for the daughters of Aram and of Edom and all who are all round her and for the daughters of the Philistines, those surrounding you who despise you. You have borne the penalty of your lewdness and your repulsive acts, says the Lord. Yes, thus says the Lord God, I will also deal with you as you have done, you, you who have despised the oath by breaking the covenant. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.